Hey, welcome back to Diamond King 139, and, um, this is really another card throwing lesson. It's just being able to throw a card at, without even going like this. It's nothing special. Well, I'm going to grab those cards again. Now it is. But just real quick, I'm going to show you a performance of what I can do. Here, I'm going to show you the top card. Sakina Diamonds. But, if I could just quickly change it, okay? Okay, I need to be able to change the card. So, oh no, we're stuck with this. this. And, you know, of course, that if I place... The card like that, and if I just wave, a card appears right there. But if I show the bottom, it's like that. But not only that, it's one side turns. Hence, when I flip it over, and then the king of diamonds is on the bottom. But not only that, that's, but here's a thing, so I just only need to do this correctly, it will make sure that's believable. So I'm just going to uh, show you one. But if I just Ugh, wrong hand, if I just flick it, then place it down. It turns to the king of diamonds. But if I just flip it over. Turns to the jack, and um, make sure hey, I got all that right. Make sure I didn't flash or anything, and um, because it's completely ordinary. And people usually guess it's on the top, but in reality, it's not. It's usually on the bottom. So, oh, now let's get into the lesson teaching on how to throw the one card from one hand. So, I can perform this with a space deck. I need to work with more cards on this one. You may not get it every time. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in slow motion. And then I'm going to teach you an author throwing technique later on. Not in this video, but a different video. So, it's totally random. It could be any card. So basically, you just basically throw in the card like a normal one. And, um... Yeah, it could be any card you want. You could have a spectator choose it. it doesn't matter what you want. Hunt, say like it's a jack of diamonds, okay? So, say uh, hey that you're gonna throw it, hit, hit, and you're doing in a really good illusion. And that is good. And so, on the top, 
and you want to throw it just like that. Yeah, I'll show from off the camera. So, hold on. That's another throwing technique I'll teach you later on as soon as I figure out how it works. So, and then you can show that it changed to an A in the hearts. And then you can just keep doing that till you get to the last card. But it doesn't matter. I'm actually throwing them. As you can see, in slow motion, it will look like. Yeah, it'll just basically look like I'm just taking the top card and flashing it real quick and just putting it back. A really nice one. I'm gonna do through that. So, yeah. So, a basic one would be like this, and this would be a hardcore one. So, basic, hard. But it won't be that hard. But if you don't know how to throw a card, then look at my past video. You may not get it straight every time. I'm, I don't get it straight every time. But it's still a good thing that you can learn. Because if you're, if you're performing in a color change, change and then throw it, hit like that, it's not getting much effects. And if you do who a color change, and just throw it like this, put it back on the deck, and then show. And you could just throw it as many as you want, but a basic card throw is using two fingers and throwing it like this. But at the advanced one I came up with, which would be the card throw, uh, there's many card throws out there. There's a boomerang one, which I would recommend learning a normal card throw first and getting used to that. So, let's go on slow motion. How that's supposed to look. So, how boom, slide off with your thumb, then go boom. I'm going to show you what it looks like from this angle. So, it should look like that, but in quick motion. Here's what it will look like. While we're doing it like that. So, from my angle, oh, it would look like that. But from your angle, when I hold it like this, it would look like that. And then, and you could just take a card, hard slide. I did come clean at the end of the trick. Hey, okay, but the point is that you gotta be able to know how to throw like that if you wanna learn that move. So, um, is say if I wanna throw two cards, all I have to do is a pinky break. And I'll show you what a pinky break is. It's basically that move. And throw two cards at a time. And you're basically doing the same thing. So, oh, except you're pushing on with your thumb on the sides. So when you go like that, then they separate. You'll be like, oh wow, you can actually throw a card. And you can say, yeah, I know. And keep this card drawing technique in mind. And because it could become useful later on. 
So, oh yeah. All I have to do is, take that. Take two. Wait, I want to make this visual. More visual. And say if you're going to do that. And then flip it over. Push, throw. And I did a reverse throw. <laughs> so yeah, reverse throw. I just did a reverse throw. Okay, I'm gonna have to know how to do reverse throw. So, oh yeah. And this technique is only used if you're um, messing around. I'm not doing it right. So, yeah, remember, you won't always get it. I don't always get it either, so. I'm just going to keep throwing these till I'm out. And then I'm going to show you what you do once you get to one single card. This is the last card, so you have it in this hand. You're just taking it and throwing it and show that you're out of cards. And that's all. It's completely simple, easy. And yeah, there you have it. It's all magic takeaways. And um, yeah, I'm just going to teach card throws that I know and learn. And, um, yeah, see you all next video. Diamond out.